All right, happy Saturday, March the 3rd, everyone. We are glad that you are watching today. And I want to get right on in with a prayer request today, and then we're going to be reading uh, from Galatians chapter 6. We've had a few requests come in um, for some babies. So let's remember these babies that need a touch from the Lord today. We've got baby Nicole. Kathy Peake had sent us a request to pray for baby Nicole. The Lord knows the need there. And uh, saw a message from Kimberly Smith about a baby by the name of Canaan who suffered a fall. So we want to lift Canaan up in prayer today. Also, we're praying for Richard Samples. We went, went to the hospital to visit him yesterday. He needs a touch from the Lord. So let's remember Richard today. And also, uh, Brother Michael Parker still needs our prayers as well. So let's lift him up in prayer today. Also, we've got Tommy Cook, uh, Glenn Carver, Glenn Templeton, Mitch Roberts and his family, Carolyn and Robbie Crosby, Donald Smith and his family, and John Arnold and his family on the prayer list today. So let's remember these folks in prayer. I also want to mention the uh, singing that will take place this evening at Macedonia Free Will Baptist Church, where the Heavenly Reflections, the Bentons, and Brother Gerald Sweatman will be uh, singing uh, this evening. So uh, we wanted to make that announcement there. Uh, if you're able to get out to that singing, we trust that would be a great blessing to you. Also, remember the services tomorrow at the Free Gift Gospel Mission, as we said a couple of days back. If you're not looking for, or if you're looking for a home church, and you're someone who shares our burden to push the gospel, to spread the gospel outside of the four walls of the church, then we need you to come and be with us at the Free Gift Gospel Mission. Uh, so keep us in mind, we are located at 1025 Maple Street in Kingsport, Tennessee. Services are Sunday school at 10 o'clock, morning worship at 11, Sunday evening at 6, and Wednesday night prayer meeting each week at uh, on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So uh, we are a Bible-believing, independent, uh, gospel-preaching church that believes that Jesus Christ is the only way. So we do welcome you to come and be with us. Good to see Brother Jay Bradley uh, joining in this morning. We appreciate you, Brother. We're just getting ready to go to the Lord in prayer. So we invite you to pray with us at this time, and then we'll read Galatians chapter 6. Father, we love you, and we thank you today for your many blessings. Lord, we pray, God, uh, that you will touch these babies that are on the prayer list today and touch each one who's in the hospital. Lord, we've got many sick and needy people upon our heart today and i know that uh, lord your word tells us that uh, you are nigh unto them of a broken heart save us such as be of a contrite spirit and i pray god uh, that you'll bless and, and help these folks today and we uh, thank you for the faith that you've given these individuals who have sent us requests today who believe in the power of prayer who believe that prayer changes things and they believe that the God of this Bible is able to move and intervene in lives today. And Lord, we join them in those sentiments and we pray with them today that needs will be met according to your will in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. All right. Let's go to the word of God at this time and we'll begin reading in Galatians chapter six. Paul writing here says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. You see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand, as many as to make a 
their show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised, only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised that they may glory in your flesh. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy upon the Israel of God. From henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the gr grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. All right, that concludes Galatians, and tomorrow, good Lord willing, we'll pick up with Ephesians and read Ephesians chapter 1. If you have any prayer requests you would like us to mention, be sure to send us those, and uh, we'll get those mentioned, and the prayer warriors can pray for those requests. Brother Jay, we're, we're still praying for you and Ann, and uh, may the Lord bless you today. We appreciate you so much. God bless you all, and uh, we'll see you here tomorrow, good Lord willing. Bye now.